Good evening to one and all. This is Aditya R. Krishna anchoring the annual report presentation of Good Shepherd English Medium School. The school which marked a victorious journey throughout the last 43 years. Here we have a panel of students who are presenting the report including curricular and extracurricular activities conducted in our school during the academic year 2023-2024. Before entering to the report presentation, I see blessing from the Almighty God who showers His immense love and care on us. We take this opportunity to make you familiar with the esteemed institution. Let's hear our friend Gina Jane CJ. At the foot of the vast lands of Malangir, exactly at Manapuram, Good Shepherd English Medium High School stands as a cradle of many generations molding ideal citizens of tomorrow. Blessed by the God Almighty, our school was founded by Reverend Father Thomas Mantara from the congregation of OFM CAP in the year 1980. The root cause of the growth of Kuchapur School was the efforts taken by the founder himself in establishing our school. With much grief, Reverend Father passed away on 31st July 2023. From the bottom of our heart, we shall pay a homage to the departed soul. The changing face of our school from then to now is really mind-blowing, which adds joy and pride to all our mind. Our school comprises of a panel of efficient sisters who deliver their full support for the all-round development of this institution. The administration of the school is under the guidance of daughters of Mary Congregation Nirmala Province, Benyur. At the apex, there is Reverend Mother Karunya Diem, who is the Provincial Superior of Nirmala Province, Benyur. Reverend Sister Clarence Diem is our local manager who handles account section. Our school is headed by Reverend Sister Chavindaris Diem and Reverend Sister Rishmi Thomas Diem is in charge of Nisri section. The dynamic motivational and proactive leadership of our headmistress adds much strength and support for the progress of our school. We have a strong PTA functioning under the efficient hands of Sri Apalash Diyar and Sri Tulasi Kumar. The academic section of the school is handled by 42 efficient teaching faculties who are capable of handling various subjects effectively. We have 17 non-teaching staff whose service is actually noteworthy. At present, this school has a strength of 1,230 from pre kg to 10 standard. In view of developing leadership quality among students, the title head boy and head girl are also given to students, imparting another phase of learning in their life. Now, let's have a glance at the facilities provided in our school. Let's move on to Lanaleo. The current academic year 2023 to 2024 was ceremoniously inaugurated on 1st June 2023. The provisional sum was conducted on grand scale. The ceremony lamp was lighted by local manager Rev. Sister Clarence TM, Headmistress Rev. Sister Jovin Teres TM, PT President Mr. Abhilash Tia, Staff Secretary Teacher Adela Krinsi, and two representatives from 1st Standard Master Dev Prayag and Baby Addi. From day one, our management and teachers are taking collective effort for overall development of students, hence moulding them into better citizens having love and concern to our fellow beings. The school starts with an assembly and prayer session, feeling a certain divinity in everyone's mind that helps the students to start their day peacefully and happily. To inculcate the spirit of healthy competition among students, they are divided into three houses, sun, moon and star. All the celebrations and other activities are done housewise, which ensure that each and every student contribute much through their active participation and idea presentation. Social awareness programs and theme-based assemblies are conducted from time to time. The school follows the same vision throughout these years Students with a certificate of appreciation. Over to Master Dev Prayag AD to introduce us all the remarkable achievements of this academic year. The new academic year had brought much happiness to our institution in various spheres. 
Our long cherished dream of having a well built building for the nursery school was fulfilled on 9 June 2023. A long run process from the demolition of our old building to the construction of our dream one was actually completed in a short span of time. That's only four months. Blessing ceremony of a new building was carried out by His Excellency Right Reverend Dr. Thomas Murray Eusebius, the Metropolitan Bishop of Diocese of Parshala. In the presence of Mother General Reverend Mother Lydia Diem, Mother Provincial Reverend Mother Karnia Diem, our local manager Reverend Sister Clarice Diem, our headmistress Reverend Sister Javintaris Diem, KD Section Headmistress Reverend Sister Resmi Thomas Diem, Reverend Fathers, Sisters, Teaching and Non Teaching Staff, and well wishers from the neighborhood areas. Adding a golden feather to the achievement list, we have resolved the space limitation problem in the KG section which brought happiness in our little one's faces. Currently, we are in the background works regarding the construction of another building in connection with our main school building which was followed by the land clearance and other initial stage activities. Regular CCTV installation and servicing is carried out enabling 24 into 7 surveillance. Facilities like well equipped and fully furnished smart class labs and libraries make the learning atmosphere more interactive and interesting. Above all, our school YouTube channel hits 2.13k subscribers which is a platform for providing a visual treat of each and every events happening in our school. Let us pass to the academic glory of our school over to Nidhi TS. With the grace of Almighty God, our school is bestowed with 100% result in SSLC examination 2022-2023. Total 56 students appeared for the board exam out of 24 back full A+. Plus. As a token of love and appreciation to the proud winners, Vijayasavam was conducted on 8 July 2023 to congratulate the winners of SSLC batch 2022-23. The meeting was presided over by Reverend Mother Kaurinya DM was the provincial superior of Narmada province, Venur, and inaugurated by Honorable MLA Sri I.B. Sadish Sir. Our former student and PTA president, Sri Ablash Diyar, felicitated the meeting. It's through continuous practice and efforts undertaken by both the teachers and students that results in fruitful outcomes. Along with learning activities, so many competitive examinations are also conducted here in our school. Our students are given opportunities to participate in LSS and use a scholarship examination. From LP section, Nidhitiyas won the scholarship and from UP section, six of our students, Apna Blasi Bn, Adhikesh Arar, Anushri Arnayar, Shreya Yogesh, Tanmaya SM and Vaiga PS won the scholarship. As a mark of hard work and dedication by the students and the effort taken by our teachers, Seven of our students selected as gifted students in U.S.'s examination. Apart from all these, as an inspiration and to bring the backward section to success, badges are issued to the students who comes first and second position in each classes after each evaluation. This marks a healthy competition among students that help them to bring themselves to the forefront. Now. We shall move on to Master Akshay BL for getting more information regarding extracurricular activities in our school. Dance, music and sports are given equal importance here in our school. And active participation of students is ensured along with the ample training and practice sections. Art first mark delightful memories to the story of this academic year. This year, Sub-District Level Arts Fest Kalolsuvam held at Janardana Bari Machasas Kalam and the District Level Kalolsuvam held at Artingal Government Kachasas. Our shining stars back several prizes at various level competitions from Sub-District to State Level. The campaign effort put forward by the trainees and the students could bear the fruitful result this year. In the Sub-District Kalolsuvam, our school team won first prize with A grade in Panchavadyam and Maddala. Work experience on the sport competitions also affixed color to the victory list of our school. Sub district level on the sport competition work experience was held at PR William High School Katakada and LPS Kulatumba, and the district level competitions was held at Government G Kachasas Cotton Hill. We bagged overall first in high school section and third in UP section in sub district level. 
Science and Maxwell also proved the fact that our shining stars are an asset to our school and also for the society in their long run. The latest ideas and technology presented by our students attracted the attention of everyone. In the sub-district level science fair, our school team participated in science drama and secured first position and into SP got the title Best Actress. As usual, our students are able to maintain their highest position in IT fair. Certainly, it was really a remarkable victory which is to be written in the golden letters. As a golden feather to the crown of victory, our school is selected as the best school in IT fair, sub-district level and secured overall second in HS section IT fair at district level. In the state level IT queues, Master JP Mother from 10th standard came to the fourth position with A grade. Sports is an inevitable factor in our academic scheme. Considering the importance of sports along with the academics, we provide sufficient opportunities for children to engage in different types of indoor and outdoor games. Based on their performance in the school level sports meet, selected students participate in various sports events in sub-district level and district level sports meet. As an appreciation to the excellent performance, our students were selected to the sub-district level football and cricket teams. Adwadepi from 10th standard was selected to the junior district football team whereas Shinu S and Arjun SS got selection to the sub-district cricket team. In the sub-district level judo competition held at Mantapatin Kadawa, Master Gautam Arki from 9th standard participated and secured bronze medal. An India school chess championship was held at Oxford school Trivandrum. Three teams from our school participated in it. The aim of the education is to educate, to elite and to empower. For empowering the students both physically and mentally, karate sections is given to the students from primary sections. Regular grading tests are conducted which marks the greater achievements of our students. We have proud winners in karate competitions held at various levels. Over to Archa SJ who is here to give an outline of some of the important activities conducted in our school. Along with providing good education, our school focuses on inculcating moral values with the hope of encouraging the younger generation to cultivate humanitarian spirit by undertaking Red Cross activities, a unit of junior Red Cross comprising 68 cadets from HS section is actively functioning in our school. Gandhi Darshan is the another actively functioning unit of our school which follows the policy of sharing and caring. All the students of our school are included in this wing, where the students are guided by the virtues of Kandian principles. As celebrations fills our life with joy, our school gives prior importance to celebrations too. Let's have a vibrant glimpse of all the festivities. This year, we have celebrated almost all the festival days including Onam, Kerala Pravi, Christmas, etc. All the celebrations were made vibrant with the active participation of all the students, sisters, teachers, and non teaching staff. Housewives competitions were made the festive mood more colorful. Various entertainment programs were conducted, including tug of war, musical chair, and teachers Tiruvadira. Christmas was also celebrated fantastically with immense joy and festive spirit by our shining stars. Carol songs, Santa Claus, crepes, cakes and gift exchanging made the day more delightful. Teacher's Day was one of the best celebrations celebrated in our school, which was a fruitful outcome of combined efforts of our beloved students. Students arranged a grand program to honor their teachers. Their heartfelt love towards the teachers and aesthetic joy made the day more joyous and emotional. On Kerala Pravi Day, our school arranged a non-teaching staff day celebration so as to honor our non-teaching staff. Their selfless efforts pay much for this institution. It's with much pleasure and pride we can state that unity is the strength of our school. Over to Indu SB who is here with us to give an overall details on the awareness and seminar sessions held in our school along with educational visits and trips. To make the teacher up to date in accordance with the changing methods of teaching, teachers often attend seminar and cluster meetings at BRC. Thereby, the teachers are able to conduct classes in harmony with the changing methods of teaching and learning. The role of parents in framing the character of their children is valuable. 
Parenting needs to be given prior importance. Taking this into account, a workshop on inspiring parenthood was conducted on 9 September by a well-renowned educational psychologist and a trainer, Dr. Joji John. This class was worthwhile for both the parents and teachers. Another session, Safe Environment on the theme Child Safety, held at Vishwadivti Higher Secondary School, was attended by our faculties on 1st May 2023. Our children got an awareness class on the theme Drug Abuse by Sri TV Shibu, Circle Inspector of Police, Malingir. Next, we have trips and educational visits. Education and recreation are the compatible factors that promote the all-round development of pupil. This year, an excursion was arranged for LP section students. On 2nd December, LP section students along with sisters and teachers visited Fantura, Lulu Mall and enjoyed their maximum. Thus, a day off from the learning activities was spent joyfully. Acting upon the values, love, Compassion and Empathy, we are presenting before you a short report on the social services carried out in our school. As a part of Malayala Manorama Nalla Padam project, varied charity activities are carried out in our school. A visit to Mental Rehabilitation Center was heartwarming as it was filled with various emotions. An educational institution not only prepares their students to perform well in academics, but also inculcates true spirit of brotherhood, true statesmanship and service. Our students distributed Podicho to the Trivandrum Medical College Hospital. This was considered as one of the most blessed services carried out in our school with the combined working of students, teachers as well as the parents. With this, as we reach the conclusion, over to the studio. In conclusion, we thank Almighty God for the manifold blessing He has showered on us during these past years. We are profoundly grateful to all our good parents for the loving concern, suggestions, cooperation and support with the Good Shepherd family. Also, we express our gratitude to the wonderful staff and students for the ever-ready positive response to make this institution to achieve its vision and mission. We have miles to go and shall continue our victorious journey in the coming years too. Once again, we extend our heartfelt thanks to our school management, head of the school, staff secretary, all the sisters, all the teaching and non-teaching staff, parents and well-wishers who stood along with us for accomplishing our goals. Thank you.